Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here to talk about the high to low cable fly. This is also called the costal cable fly. This is also called the lower pec cable fly, most commonly known as the high to low cable fly. So make sure that these are set at the top of these cables. Okay, that's a big thing in terms of being able to completely line up everything that we want to line up. Okay, so a good way to start this movement is going to be actually bringing the cables down here, okay? Coming out to an actually fully extended position with your arms. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to track outward. We're gonna start to step forward here. Again, a staggered stance. Staggered stance just allows us to be very stable in this movement. As soon as we're here, it's gonna get hard as the weight does get heavier to maintain proper tension, proper body position, things like that. So staggered stance is really good. Common question here doesn't matter which foot is forward. No, it doesn't. So pick the one that feels best for you. Okay, so if we start here from the beginning, one more time, fully extend, start to walk out. What we're looking for here, okay, is we're looking to really line up that line of resistance, which is that cable, okay? So we're looking at the cable to make sure that lines up with our arm. And then what we're doing is to be sure we're really lined up for this movement. Okay, we're first trying to line up these two things. And then what we're doing is we're trying to line up our arm with that lower pec, okay? So to line up that arm with that lower pec, okay, it's gonna be the line of that pec. Okay, so for males, again, this is a little easier to see, but for females, this is easy, easier to see as well. It's just a little bit hidden, if you will, okay? So males, we have this very distinguished pec line. Females, okay, so you'll still, if you come up like this, again, it's that gonna be the side breast line as you come down here is what you're wanting to actually line up, okay? So making sure that arm is lined up with that division of the pec, okay? And then making sure that cable is actually lined up properly with the arm. And if all three of those are lined up, we're good, okay? So again, here from the beginning, bring those down, fully extend, we're gonna walk into this rep, look to line up that cable with our arm, look to line up that arm with our lower chest. And then what we're gonna do is actually thinking about coming out, use those upper back muscles to create good stability here, okay? And then we're gonna think about driving down and in, down and in, okay? And then at the end, we're actually gonna think about driving, kind of punching downward a little bit, okay? You're gonna notice a big contraction there. And this is a place you probably haven't spent a lot of time. So you're gonna notice a lot of tension here. Okay, so we'll do that one more time. It's okay for your elbows to bend a little bit here. That's more than fine. You don't have to, you can have a lot of stress here if you keep them too straight. So it is okay for you to slightly bend those arms as you come back. Okay, and as we come down, again, tracking down, making sure we're nice and lined up. And then at the very end, think about driving down. Okay, so I'll just run through that one more time. All right right there okay and as we do go up don't just let it go up okay we're thinking about actively pulling back here with our upper back creating a lot of stability creating a lot of tension in that eccentric part of that rep and then driving down 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 and finishing with a really strong contraction so the big thing here is making sure that you are lined up from the beginning if you're not lined up from the beginning you're going to be fighting yourself quite a bit to try and fix the execution, try to find tension. So the key here is just lining yourself up from the beginning and you should be good.